And now to our lab. Whoa! Where we do incredible experiments. Oh, looks disgusting. To show you how your body works. So watch this. Just don't try anything you see here at home. Ah! Your mouth and throat are awesome. And we're going to show you one of the cleverest tricks your body does every time you eat. Swallowing. And if you're thinking, what's the big deal with swallowing? Well, here's the thing. Your lungs and stomach actually share part of the same tube. Your mouth and throat go into one tube that then splits so that you can eat and breathe through the same hole. Now you might be thinking, because everything goes in through the throat, this could get pretty disastrous with all your food ending up in your lungs, right? Wrong. He's right. Never fear. You actually have a super-duper clever bit of body kit that stops this happening. It's called the epiglottis. And to show you how it works, I'm going to put a camera up Chris's nose and down into his throat. This is a transnasal esophagoscopic camera. That's a bit of a mouthful, but what it means is it can go up through your nose and down into your esophagus, which is the tube that carries food to your tummy. Now, even if you do have a transnasal esophagoscopic camera lying around at home, you still shouldn't try this yourself. We are responsible doctors, and only people like us can use transnasal esophagoscopic cameras. You like saying that, don't you? Yes. OK, are you ready? OK, so we've just gone into Chris's nose. You can see a few hairs there, a few bogeys. You might want to save those for tea later. I can actually see the camera at the back of Chris's throat. It's like a cave in there. This here is actually the dangly bit at the back of your throat. It's called the uvula. Now we're going further in. So this here, that's his tongue. And just behind that is a pink flap, the epiglottis, that folds over when we swallow. Hello, Chris's epiglottis. You're right down there. Still doing a good job. Now, at the moment, it's open because he's breathing. It's letting air into his lungs. The minute he swallows, it'll really quickly close to prevent any food or liquid going into his lungs and divert it all down into his tummy. You'll be able to see it much better if he has some soup. You ready for some soup, Chris? Yeah. Right. Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Is this carrot and coriander? Yes. Yeah, your favourite. You know I hate that. What? Here what we go. Yum, yum, yum. So you can actually see the spoon with the soup in it going into his mouth. We're putting the soup in. And now, watch the epiglottis when he swallows. There, you see it moves really quickly, closes off his lungs completely, so that all the soup goes down into his tummy. Let's see that again. There's the windpipe. Here comes the soup. There, the epiglottis closes. The soup goes down. Yum. The epiglottis opens. Job done. You actually swallow about 600 times a day. Sometimes when you're eating, and sometimes when you're just swallowing your own saliva. So we've shown you how your epiglottis stops you getting lungs full of food and spit. But what if you were upside down? Well, there's another body part that stops your food going up when you're upside down. You mean down? No, up. From the tip of your tongue to the end of your bum, you've got a long tube lined with smooth muscle that squeezes food through your body, a bit like squeezing toothpaste out of a tube. It even works when you're upside down, and we're going to prove it. Zandi won't mind being upside down as long as I feed him. OK, Zand, here's some soup. Ooh, lovely. Mm. Carrot and coriander, my favourite. Now, it's not a good idea to always eat soup like this. Imagine what restaurants would look like if we did. Now, what's happening now is that the smooth muscle in my esophagus <laughs> is pushing the soup up towards my stomach. This is called peristalsis. Waves of muscle contraction all the way through my gut push food through my digestive system. So swallowing works even when you're upside down. But let's face it, it's not a good idea. You're going to end up with soup in your hair. Chris? Chris? Chris?